In the previous video, I kind of showed you how I set up the hands and the fingers. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I set up the eyes. And it's really all a matter of preference. So right now, I have a controller just hangs out there. It's kind of at the bottom here, but it's still within the object, though. So we hide all these other controls here. Let's uh, bring the hand in. Here we go. So there's the eyes controller. And you'll notice I have some user data attached to that. I mean, that's just like add user data. It's just basically making your own little variables and setting them up and you can take inputs from them and use them in Expresso, which is basically what I've done here. So, pretty simple enough. But, I really don't even need Expresso for what I've done just to move the eyes. So there are the eyes moving around. They're basically following, as you would expect, the, the red and blue null objects there and uh, fairly simple enough if I actually go to the eyes go to the eyeball here <clears throat> you'll notice I'm just using target objects and it's going directly to these objects if I double click on it notice it goes to the, the same object if I were to move this, it would just move that eye. Or if I wanted to make her look cross-eyed, just rotate this thing and bring it in. So there you go. Hmm. So you'll see that they're lined up fairly well. You may not you may also notice they're not exactly as you would expect. I have them inside of another object so I can offset them by about ten degrees. But for, as for the other controls, the lids I just have all I have is this output of this variable that I've set up going straight to the bone or straight to the joint so pretty much directly corresponding there if you want to make a an, an simple interpolation of that <coughs> you can do that so this basically is just moving that object back and forth so my eyes are... I wanted to keep them fairly detailed so I can give them that look how the eye is actually built and let's see here, that's, uh, I think that's about it for the eyes oh there's also this controller which I added notice I can't move it that's this control. basically th these variables or should I say, yes, these variables are taking, are, are taking its place. So if we actually bring that up, probably notice it's changed its angle. That's because I actually have it controlling both. So <clears throat> if I wanted to disable that so I could control it with this circle, that's my, that was my initial control. I just decided to add it to this main thing, so I could delete that if I wanted to. Probably make it easier. And for the jaw, basically this controller controls the lower jaw bone or joint. Rotate it around a little bit. Nothing out of the ordinary. Except for when I get to this, this is a little bit more expresso stuff. You'll notice it moves 
these joints on the side on the edges here <coughs> I also have do a few different things the angle that angle and the angle up and down and it controls that on that side there I had noticed I didn't make it affect the other side I'm not sure why might have to do that later I'm actually going to add some additional controls for her cheeks here kind of similar to the eyebrows so these are just floating joints we go up here and take a look and they're inside of a group and they're just floating joints now I use the display to determine how large they would be but notice you can change the display to a sphere or a circle or a few different things whatever you want them to be basically the point is they're there and you can grab them so just do whatever you want and I guess it'd be nice to see the geometry going around I can see kind of what points I control and also remember hit W and you can see the actual weights so they're just joints just think of them as joints they're not any kind of special controls they're just like all the other joints they're just control very small pieces of the body So there's nothing that special about them <clears throat> and all the all this control is doing is, is doing nothing but it's going right here it just it just goes this input this output goes to the inputs of the, the rotation of the joints inside of there through an espresso tag there's nothing special about it it just there's data it's just moving it I mean if you want you can make this the rotation of these me the rotation of the eyelids if you wanted to I mean you there, it's indefinite how you can have this thing work it's just a matter of uh, what you want and then the controls on these are similar to the fingers just bend the ears around So, you can pretty much arrange things how you want. Uh, the, the possibilities are pretty much limitless. If you wanted to have... <laughs> that's looking kind of squirrely. <laughs> <clears throat> that's different. Wait. Sometimes you gotta... Watch how things are deforming. They may not deform how you'd like them to. I know I, like I've said before, I've worked quite a bit with just the elbow. Getting the elbow to look half decent. So there are the points. <coughs> when you take a look at that, <coughs> at the weight tool, you'll see various different weights kind of barely making it look like those points are being dragged around the bone as it would happen in actual reality like it does with us so that's that and uh, happy rigging <laughs> it's not exactly the funnest thing I know but uh, you gotta do it at some point